today's F1 drivers get very little opportunity to actually test and develop their car on the track. So how do they test? We spend a lot of time in the simulator, which is like uh, testing, you know. So I remember in the past that we were testing like uh, every week. Uh, now you cannot test anymore. So our test is on the simulator, you know, to prepare and to develop uh, the car and the setup, you know, everything uh, that we were doing in the past. So we're doing now inside the factory. For the drivers it's important, but uh, it's also more important to developing the car. It's more important for the uh, setup changes, you know, it's more important for the developing uh, the car with the new parts, you know, parts that we're going to have in the next race, that we tried before in the, in the simulator. Um, so many different things, you know, that is, is more important on the technical side. You can try everything, what we're doing on the track, you can do in the simulator. So every change in the setup, every change in the aerodynamic, every, uh, you simulate in the wind tunnel how much one uh, new rear wing will give to you. So you put in the simulator and you will have that, you know, so you simulate everything. Everything you're doing on the, on the real track, on the, on the normal uh, t testing day, you can do that. So this is important for the, for the team, you know, it's important for the developing. So this is you, you already count the simulator at the end. Well, normally during the season, uh, always after a race, going to the, to the factory, uh, spending some time uh, with the engineers, some meetings around everything we did uh, during the race, something that uh, didn't work, that you need to do different, you know, something that it works, that we need to carry on. Meetings on the um, wind tunnel with aero people, you know, to discuss about the uh, new parts uh, for the next race. Uh, also to discuss what you feel uh, in the previous race, you know, with the, everything we try in the car, with the aerodynamic, with the normal setup, everything. And then we spend a lot of time in the simulator. But does the simulator actually help a driver gain time on the track? I think when you start and you know how is the track, I think you gain a lot of time and you get used to quicker, you know, with the track. And I think that's very important for us, you know, to drive before and you know, to, to simulate everything you can simulate in the, in the new track before you're going there. So which you, you, you start more prepared. So you start really uh, and you know so many things before you drive in the real car. But not too many drivers have access to the multi-million dollar Williams simulator. So how do young drivers take advantage of this technology? I think now you have so many different simulators that you can prepare yourself for different category, for the, you know, the first category that you're going you're gonna to drive. Also many teams has some, uh, some simulators which is not so professional like the Formula 1. But I'm, I think it will help in the same way that it helped us to drive the Formula 1 car. It helped them as well, you know. However, in the end, it always comes down to the driver. Sometimes if you're just following the data, maybe you can even make mistakes, you know compared to what we feel in the car, because at the end, I mean, the drive is the most important feeling, you know. 